Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra Brooke and I make videos about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So for today, for you guys, I have how I dye my hair jet black. Um, I usually dye my hair probably every, maybe like every three months. Sometimes it's a little bit sooner. My hair does grow pretty fast. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the products that I use. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If there's any questions or comments or anything of that sort, please leave it in the comments below and let's get into it. Okay, so this is my hair before. You can't really tell, but uh, my roots are going back to like my natural brown color. So yeah, I like to touch that up. So um, I'm gonna be showing the products I'm using. This is the dye and I will put everything in the description box. So um, yeah, um, this is the developer. And then I have reusable gloves cause I dye my hair every three months. I have a bowl and a brush. And then I use clips to kind of clip my hair away. And then I have a plastic bag to use to cover my hair. So yeah, um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just sectioning my hair. I like to section into four parts. Um, that's just what works best for me. So yeah, I'm gonna part it and then clip it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mix the color to make it. Um, I'm using a measuring cup because I couldn't find my little ounce. Um, I guess it's like an ounce measuring cup that I got from Sally. So yeah, it's fine. I just wash it in the end. So um, for this dye, you do one part of the um, dye and then one part of the developer. So it's one to one. So it's two ounces and then two ounces of the um, the color as well. So I'm just showing that's two ounces. Okay, so now I've got my gloves on and then I'm going to add the um, color into the developer and go ahead and mix it. And I'm just adding it in, showing you guys. Okay, so this is both of them, the color and developer. So now I'm just mixing it, um, trying to show it without making a mess. So yeah. Okay, so this is the official mix. This is what it looks like now. Um, as the time goes by, it'll start to turn black. But yeah, so um, I always start on the front of my head. I don't know why. Um, yeah, that's just the pattern that I go in. And I start with like um, the outer or like, I don't want to say like the edges, but I start on like the outer portion of my hair. And then once I've got the dye all over the outer, then I'll go through like each section and add it to the roots as well. But um, I don't know why I do this. This is just how I do it. Um, and then I'm going to go in the back, as you can see, like I'm starting to hit like in the back of the roots. Um, yeah. And it's going to be kind of that yellow color. And as it starts to turn, you'll see it like switch over to like jet black. But yeah, this is kind of the process that I do it. Um, I've been doing it this way probably for maybe like three or four years. And I think it just turns out better. I think before I was having an issue where I was like missing parts. And when I would be like straightening my hair or flat ironing it, I would catch the brown. So this way I literally never see a patch of brown whatsoever. Okay, so now I'm just going through each section. Um, so what I do is I go about maybe like an inch or two down. Um, my hair doesn't grow entirely that fast, but I don't know. I just take it a little bit down. That way I don't miss any like piece and like brown peaks through. And then when I'm like splitting the sections and keep in mind, the sections are not going to be perfect. Once you put dye on it, your hair kind of gets like that slimy and it's hard to like piece through it and I never use a comb I don't know why but yeah this works anyway so yeah I apply it on like the hair that's like down and then I apply it on the root of the hair that's um like going upwards if that makes sense so yeah like that that way I make sure I got both sides so um I don't have to worry about like one side being jet black but then like if I switch my part the roots are still brown so i 
And then as you can see, it's starting to change on my root. So like if you look at the front of my head, it's starting to kind of turn like that purpley black color. That's how you know it's starting to take. So yeah, and I'm almost done with this section. So yeah, I'm pretty much gonna do the same exact thing throughout my entire head. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with this section. So the last thing I do is I like to kind of like rake it down a little bit, um, like a little bit lower, and then I just tie it up and I go into the next part. And then at the very end with the dye that I have left over, I go back through and apply it like kind of going down the ends. But as you can see, my hair is black on the end, so I don't really need it. But yeah, I just like to use all of the products. So yeah, now I'm jumping over to the next section. Okay, so now I'm done with the first two front sections. So now I'll start on the back. I'm going to turn around and kind of show you guys what I do, but I'm literally doing the same exact thing that I did before where I start on like the exterior and then I go around and add it to the um, like the parts section by section.
Okay, so I'm literally doing the same exact thing. Um, and this is the last section here. Um, and then if you can see the dye has officially kind of um, set in and it's on my face. It's always on my face. Um, usually it washes off, so it's not that big of a deal to me. Um, yeah, but I literally always have dye on my face and like on my neck, but it'll like wash out when I'm washing my hair or like once I wash my face. So yeah, don't mind that. It's just kind of part of the process. So yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm going back through and adding the remaining dye to the ends of my hair. Yeah, so I'm able to do a root touch up with just one box dye, well one box of dye. I think even when my hair was longer, I was only using one box just because um, I'm only doing the root. So if you're gonna be doing your whole head, you probably need two boxes or more depending on how long and thick your hair is. But for my touch ups, I just need the one box. Okay, so now I'm done applying all the dye to my hair. So I'm just gonna put on a plastic cap. Um, this one came with like the hair stuff that I always use, the 1212, but it's a little too small. So I have to go over it with a Walmart bag, but that's fine. So essentially you just want to um, cover your hair for 30 minutes. Okay, so the 30 minutes is up now. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash and deep condition my hair and condition it as well. I'm using the same products that I always use. They just rebranded their packaging. So yeah, and then I went over with the um, Don't Despair Repair um, Briogeo. I got that as a birthday gift, but yeah, that was good. Um, my hair felt normal, so no issues with that. But yeah, so what I'm doing here is I'm just rinsing my hair out. Basically, you just want to keep shampooing your hair until there's no more like black dye rinsing out. So yeah, I just keep washing it until it rinses out. Usually it's about three or four times for me. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just getting it all out. Thirty 
Okay, so after I'm done, I went ahead and conditioned and then deep conditioned and this is me rinsing everything out and I'm pretty much done. That's kind of everything that I do. Um, once it's rinsed out, I'm ready to go ahead and blow dry and straighten. Um, I didn't show any of that in this video because I do have two other videos showing kind of the products that I use in my process. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just making sure it's running clean and as you can see, the ends of my hair, my hair is like clean, like there's no more um, jet black dye coming out. So that's good. Okay, so that's everything for the video today. These are the final results of my hair. And yeah, so um, if you notice through the video, I don't add the color like all over my hair really. It's just focused on my roots. So um, with the color that I'm using here, which I'll tag, I'll put all the products below. My hair doesn't fade. So yeah, if you're looking for a new hair dye, I think that's a really good option. Um, I don't have any issues with it whatsoever. And as you can see, my hair is super shiny. And yeah, that's why I like it so much. I feel like this is the only one that makes my hair like super black but shiny so it's not dull. Oh. But you guys enjoyed this video and until next time. Mm -hmm.